Hello everyone, my name is Dr. John Adam here with Positive Health, where we believe that client education leads to improved pet health. In this video, I'm going to talk about vaccinations. I'll go over why we vaccinate, when we start our vaccinations, and how often we booster them, and also the core vaccinations for our puppies and kittens and what they comprise. When our pets or anyone's immune system is challenged by a specific pathogen like a virus or bacteria for the first time, our innate immune system is the first to react to take care of it. This is a very non-specific and inefficient response to the pathogen, but at least gets the immune system started in handling the pathogen. Eventually, the body will develop a learned immunity to the pathogen that is more specific and efficient to taking care of the pathogen. After that, if the immune system sees this pathogen again, it remembers what it saw before and is able to take care of it more quickly and efficiently. When we vaccinate our pets, we are basically simulating the first response to the pathogen without causing the disease associated with that pathogen. This is done by giving a live virus or a bacteria that is modified so it does not cause a disease process in the body, or we take a part of the pathogen that we know the immune system will react specifically to initiate the learned immunity for that particular pathogen. Now that the immune system has learned how to deal with that particular pathogen, when it actually sees it in the body, it is able to have a faster and better response to the pathogen. With this being said, just because your puppy or kitten is vaccinated does not mean they will not get sick. A vaccinated pet is less likely to get the disease when encountering these viruses or bacteria, and if they do get sick, since their immune system is better equipped to fight the infection, the disease process isn't as bad or lethal in some cases. Also a fun fact that most pet owners don't know is that if your pet does get sick with these viruses or bacteria and are vaccinated against them, the company that made the vaccine may help with the cost of the medical bills as a courtesy for using their vaccines. These vaccinations for our puppies and kittens are usually started at six to eight weeks of age and are given in a series until about 16 to 20 weeks of age. The reason being that when they are born, they are given antibodies from their mother to help supplement their naive immune system until they can properly develop it. These antibodies, although crucial to your pet's health, will neutralize some of all or all the vaccine given to your puppy or kitten. This is why we start at six to eight weeks and do a series until 16 to 20 weeks of age usually so that as the maternal antibodies decrease in the body, puppies get an immune system will begin to build up and be able to help fight those pathogens. In adult dogs that have been, not been vaccinated before, since the maternal antibodies are not present, your veterinarian may recommend a shorter series to boost their immune system. There are many vaccines that your veterinarian may recommend depending on geographical location, lifestyle, and genetics of your pet, but there are some core vaccines that are usually given anywhere you're at. For puppies, these are the DHPP, Bordetella, and rabies vaccinations. In the DHPP vaccine, there are four viruses given. First being distemper, which is a nasty virus that attacks the lungs, gastrointestinal tract, and nervous system, and usually is fatal or causes long-lasting damage to your pet. The second virus is a hepatitis virus or adenovirus. This virus causes damage to the liver, kidneys, and eyes. Third virus is parainfluenza, which is one of the viruses associated with kennel cough complex. The final and very well known is virus is parvovirus. This is a horrible virus that attacks rapidly dividing cells in the gastrointestinal tract, bone marrow, and heart. This vaccine is given as a series of three injections every three to four weeks, then a year booster, then, then boosted every three years. The Bordetella vaccine is against the bacteria that is associated with the kennel cough complex. It can be given as an intranasal or an oral vaccine once as a puppy and then every 6 or 12 months as boosters. It can also be an injection form that is given as a series of two as a puppy and then at 6 to 12 month intervals as boosters. Rabies vaccine is against a virus that attacks the nervous system and is usually fatal. It is given once at 3 to 4 months of age, boosted in a year, and usually boosted every 3 years after that. This vaccine is required almost everywhere in the world. For kittens, the core vaccines are the FERCP, FELV, and rabies. In the FERCP vaccine, there are three viruses, the first two being feline rhinotracheitis and Khaleesi virus. Both are associated with feline upper respiratory complex. The third virus is panleukopenia. It is also called feline distemper and attacks the gastrointestinal tract and bone marrow. 
This vaccine is usually given as a series of three every three to four weeks, starting at 68 weeks of age. The FLV vaccine is against a virus that can cause immune suppression and can make your cat more prone to certain cancers. We usually test for this virus and FIV with it during the kitten's first visit. And if they are negative, they will receive the vaccine. It is usually a series of two injections and then yearly. The rabies vaccine is similar to that of the puppies. It can be given as a yearly or every three-year booster. It is not required in cats everywhere, but may be so in your area, but it is still highly recommended. This is all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed the video and found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or future topics you'd like me to discuss, please leave a comment below. Thank you very much and have a good day. Against the comp, uh, yeah. just start that paragraph.